When I'm asked to perform, or at least uh, to monitor or co-interpret fMRI results for a variety of reasons, it's because the neurosurgeon typically has concerns as to whether the area of the brain that's affected by a tumor or epilepsy or any part of the brain that is to be resected, if that resection will result in some kind of debilitating impairment. So a lack of motor skills, a loss of speech, or a loss of memory. Those are really the three areas that I focus on. So using fMRI, we perform a series of tasks. I'll have a patient uh, move their fingers so that I can see how the left or the right side of the brain, uh, what we call lights up um, when they are performing that task. Another task that we can perform uh, is asking a patient to read a sentence or listen to speech so that we can determine how, for example, the posterior temporal lobe, the receptive language area is functioning. Any area that's activated typically should not be resected, and that's the reason why we do functional MRIs for a patient leading up to their surgery.